And we can see that with our test animation in the beginning, your MetaHuman now has pants that work perfectly. Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again and this week Unreal Engine 5.6 has released and also the new MetaHuman stuff so I thought I'd just revisit on how to get your custom clothing onto the MetaHumans so that you can kind of get out of the same old clothes that they provide in their demo. The process hasn't changed all too much, there is a new depth to the system where you can create clothes that automatically scale and adjust with your MetaHuman which is vastly, vastly more difficult. So I would still suggest that if you, know, you only have like animation and you know what you meta human is going to look like to prepare that meta human and then make custom clothing for that single fbx instead of making clothing that is adjustable to all of the meta humans however you know if you're still into making a customizable clothing there's a cool tutorial online i'll make myself small in here i'll link this video down in the video description below from Re relentless games it is a process all right so but let's get you started with outfitting your custom meta human in like 10 minutes or something I'll just assume that you already have your MetaHuman, so we don't have to go over all of this process. So this one is editable and animatable. This has to be like a rigged character and they're like a, a rigged MetaHuman in, in itself. I don't know what happened there. If you have your MetaHuman ready and, and to go, but you know, still need to close this, let's find your MetaHuman in your content browser down here. In my case, it's like the blueprint new jar. Then it opens up like this blueprint window. You can go over to body over here. And if you click on the folder icon with the with the magnifying glass, boom, it will bring you to the source mesh, the skeletal mesh. Right click on this bad boy, asset actions, export, give it a name. I already gave it a name and save. Yeah, just replace it. Uh, we don't need the vertex color level of detail. Also no collision, no source export source mesh probably and then we can export opening up blender in this case blender 4.43 you can just drag and drop your file in here and import there you go so you have like a skeletal and a reference so on this on this reference you're going to outfit your custom clothing template so the first thing we actually want to do is remove like this parent this parent empty but we cannot just delete it so we can click and shift select both of them click alt p and clear and keep transformation clear parent and keep transformation alt p there you go so we can now delete safely delete this empty here now this um, this source skeletal is only actually just for reference so we can keep it in the hierarchy as it is it's important that the root and the root here is not renamed like root pelvis if you duplicate the skeletal it's going to be called root one and pelvis one and that's a problem but it's a problem for another day import your desired cloth again i'll just drag and drop my pants in here in this case it's an obj it's way too big so i'll just get it down I'll see that it roughly fits what I want to. And now it's just a matter of conforming the mesh to your reference, to the other MetaHuman. This can take some time, I'll just speed through it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Just taking into consideration that not just with the process that we just did but also later on with the weight painting what we're going to do right now time is king so don't expect to have the perfect result within like the first 10 minutes if you do congratulations but this process definitely definitely profits from time and time that you spent um, with this so you can fine-tune it all you want and and spend a lot a lot a lot of time on it and then the result will be better if you rush it it will look like a rush process and you know you will get rushed results but just so you know don't expect to get here and and have like perfect results within like five minutes this takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of time however we are going to bind this to the armature so that, that it's moving around with our animation Click on the pants, shift click onto the armature and press control P. And then we get a lot of parent options and we take with automatic weights. It will think a little bit because it has like 341 bones or something. So this might take a couple of seconds, but shouldn't take too long. And then we are, let's say, good to go for our case. 
some of you might run into the issue that it says, oh, there's some unresolved bones and some, some, some bone weighting issues. That might be because some, your mesh has too fine detail, if that makes sense. So sometimes it just doesn't register it at being assignable or like weight paintable if the mesh is too, too small. You can help yourself by first of all, which I would also always do, is applying scale transformation. So we have a uniform mesh. So control A for all transformations, rotation and scale. So you have in your item description 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 1111 and like the correct numbers over, over here. And also there is a cool plugin called Voxel Heat Diffuse Skinning. So if nothing else works, you might want to grab one of these app plugins because they offer another variety, another way of weight transferring, weight painting to your pants. Keep in mind again, this process heavily benefits from time. So if you go and do some quick animations, like quick tests, tests over here, you can see there's some ugly stretching that is that is go, that is going on. So you can quickly go over here and in, 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 in weight paint. I can only iterate this process takes time and benefits from time. But let's just assume we fast forwarded a couple of minutes and you are very happy with your weight, with your weight, weight painting. Everything is moving the way you expect, expect it to. Now we have to export all of this. So let me get rid of the body now because we don't really need it. All we need is right over here. Let's make sure one more time that we have a uniform mesh. We have perfect, a quick file, export, export FBX. And now I'll go to root store. And let's have a look at the settings over here. If you have anything else in your scene, you might want to add select object, selected objects, but if, that's, if that is not the case, you're good to go. Unclick animation down here because I don't have any animation. You want to uncheck leave bones as well because that ends, adds like a, a last bone at the end of every bone branch. I don't know why, but it's, it's, it's useless. Click leave bones, uh, give, that, give that away. And usually I would say put a hundred in here and then you and a Z up for like your up and like a minus Y forward. It doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. I tested it with 5.6 and it seems to be able to interpret whatever mesh you're giving it quite fine. So if there is an unwanted rotation in there or you're rotating bones and it's not working, this is the first thing I would check. Like if the, if that the scale and the transformation over here are the culprit. But what is important is that we add smoothing groups from, from normals only to face. Boom. And I'm going to export my pants tutorial. With this out of the way, we are back in Unreal Engine. I'm going to desktop and I'm looking for my pants tutorial. I'm just drag and dropping it in here. Your folder structure is your business. That my folder structure is my business. If you are confused by your import content, don't be it's it's scary as it should be, but it's not too scary. So I just dragged and dropped pants tutorial. You can see it in, in here. Either you go to skeletal mesh or you see it on, under all. Uh, that's just a filter over here, really. You can now click archetype skeleton mesh because that is the meta human whatever mesh. We don't want to import animations. You We use T0 as a reference. It's just a nice to have. This should be unchecked per default. Check it again if you have weird rotation problems. Make sure that you have a uniform rotation in here and we just click import. Perfect. What we now have is a skeletal mesh and a physics asset and of course a couple of materials. Now we have blue pants and I think pink buttons. Now we need to get that onto our metahuman. Clicking clicking our, our metahuman over here. We see it then in the, in the, in the hierarchy edit blueprint. We've, we've seen this interface before. Up here we select skeleton, skeleton mesh, skeleton mesh. It also knows that I immediately want to edit my pants tutorial, which is sus maybe because I tried it before. But usually you can then type uh, whatever you want to type, like you name your skeleton mesh. And then over here on the, on the right side where it says mesh, you just find your new pants. Pants tutorial in this case, boom. Compile. And if we did everything right, your metahuman now has a new pair of pants. But does it work is the question. Does it work? Let's go to the level sequence. And we can see that with our test animation in the beginning, your metahuman now has pants that work perfectly. Okay, you can see that there's some stretching. 
And that is due to the fact what I said before, this process benefits from time. It just took me like 10 minutes. This recording right now is 25 minutes from start to right now. This is obviously not the ideal time, but this is a quick and dirty solution. So Unreal Engine does have the ab ability to make shape keys so you can fix those in, in, the, in the animation if you want to. That is, that is all cool and fine. But in principle, this is the way how you could add your custom clothing to your MetaHuman in like hopefully in a 10 minute video or less. Let me know down in the comments if there are any new questions. And before you ask, yes, that works like with Marvelous Design as well. So you just bring your FBX, your exported FBX into Marvelous Designer, design your clothes, and then you can export it the same, the same way. Wage painting will be done in, in Blender as well. There is a program called MetaTailor, which gives you like five exports for free. And then after that, uh, it is a subscription service. This will automatically do all of the weight painting and the fitting for you and also with all of, all of the tagging. So if you are looking for more of a one click solution, maybe look into Meta Taylor. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.